Hello everyone, my name is Bahadine and I'm here to talk to you about Gazing and Nudity in Tunisian Production. Why Tunisia? Somehow the idea of gazing is related to nudity, male-female, sexuality, orientalism. And since 1959, Tunisia have applied the principle of equality between men and women. And if you are familiar with the Tunisian production, you should know that Tunisians have no problem showing nudity on the big screen. According to this information, you might think that they have passed the idea of the stereotype heterosexual white male power orientalist type of gazing that objectifies women and makes them look like as an object of desire. For this matter, let's take a look at some scenes from one of the most Tunisian iconic movies, that is called Halfawin, Boy of the Terrace, which is called in Tunisian Asfursta. The movie was out in 1990, which its events are happening in the, between the 1950s and the 1960s in the old Medina, which is the old city of the capital. The movie is about a little boy trying to understand his position in life throughout his sexual curiosity and how it's brought to the conversation at any moment throughout the movie by his father, his mother, his mother friends, his friends out in the souk, the owner of the hammam, and always brought to the picture as a problem but not as a, a normal human being growth. And we see throughout the movie the transformation of the boy gazing towards the female bodies or female characters of the movie from the innocent curiosity of a little kid to a sexual curiosity. For example, let's take a look at one of the first scenes of the movie and see how the gazing is happening. Does the picture look familiar? Exactly. The director have recreated the iconic image of the harem pool just to represent the woman in Hammam. As we saw in the short clip of the opening scene of the movie, we see some type of different gazing that is mixed with a child innocence. As we know, kids usually are curious about stuff. Kids are usually trying to understand things, they usually keep looking at things, they gaze at things, trying to understand the idea behind the phenomenon that's happening around them. And in the Tunisian culture, like in the 50s and 60s, women were supposed to take kids with them to the woman's hammam, no matter how, no matter what is the sex of the kid. Anyway, so this little boy uh, who's been taken to the hammam, he's trying to understand why he's so different from everybody in there because everybody else is female and they're all basically naked and he's the only male character in there and he's gazing in there because he's curious he's the curiosity of an innocent boy and that's a different kind of gazing from the the male female gazing that we are used to and then throughout the movie we see this type of gazing where we go back to the picture where male-female gazing, where the male look at females as the sexual object or sexual desire, and we see the picture where there are two guys are looking, are hunting women and actually flirting with them in public, even though that the ladies are fully covered and are wearing the safsari, which is a, a traditional Tunisian uh, clothes that the women cover themselves with and whenever they're leaving the house. One of the strongest gazing scenes in the movie happened in public where a group of male were trying to gaze at one woman. The, the image was iconic. Take a look. Oh, and Sidi al Bashir al Ashar of Dayan Bitlu. Tira, Tira, and Jess, Tira. Is any lonely? It is.
So beside the idea of the public gazing, we saw the idea of the exhibitionists, where the female character was enjoying the fact that she was the object of the gazing. She was enjoying the pleasure of being looked at. And that's what we called exhibitionists. She was actually trying to get the attention of the male characters in the scene. She was laughing so hard and loud in an unusual way where she got the attention of the male character and she tried to fascinate them with her female laugh if we can put it in words like that and uh, at some point we saw her walking away knowing that everybody will be looking at her and uh, she actually gave us the feeling that she enjoyed it and also the male character have reacted to her action, to her laugh, in a way that they themselves enjoyed the idea of her looking at them, looking at the male power, sexuality type of thing. Which just takes us to the picture of Orientalism where we see female actually enjoying the gazing and trying to be exotic and, and uh, enjoying the male power type of thing. And now going back to the little boy who is the main character of the story and with whom we have seen a different kind of gazing that is related to childhood, innocence and curiosity. Uh, we will see him transform that sort of curiosity, uh, innocence curiosity into the sexual curiosity. Like we will go back to the, to the typical stereotyped picture uh, of a male-female gazing where he actually asks his mom to go back to the hammam and then where he can get satisfaction from only looking to women. Here's the clip. Exactly, we cannot show this clip because of the amount of nudity, but I will show you one picture where we can uh, analyze the gazing in the picture and how it's changed from uh, the innocent gazing into the into the sexual gazing. Well, in this frame we see a complete transformation of the gazing of the boy from the innocent gazing into a completely different kind of gazing that is called scopophobia, where he finds pleasure in looking, where he sneaks into a private shower room where he watched a, a woman taking a bath in uh, which she was almost naked and he's trying to take a peek and see what's what's hidden in her body, what, what he can see more in and try to find some pleasure in it. Which is quite interesting if you look at it, how the transformation from that kind of different kind of gazing into trying to fit in the picture of gazing of uh, male, female, uh, how the woman turns into become the object of desire even to the boy, even to the, to the little kid who in the beginning of the movie we see him as the the, we see him presenting a different kind of gazing and now he's he's actually transforming to fit in the mob of the picture of the typical stereotyped gazing. Well, even though the idea of uh, feminism in Tunisia is quite different than the other Arabic word back at the time and even in the 90s and how nudity is not actually a problem comparing to other Tunisian product comparing to other Arabic production, but we could see that the image of women in cinema, in big production, like in the big screen, it's still the same. We still see her as the object of desire. We still see her as the, the complementary uh, character that comes just for the pleasure of the main character who is a male, even though that she, uh, that the main character here is a little boy, but he still applies gazing on female characters, even though that the gazing that he implies in the beginning of the movie was different and innocent, and now in the end of the movie the gazing that he applies is the same typical stereotyped gazing, the, the way that um, we always see women as the object of desire, like we don't see women applying the gazing, we don't see female gazing in the, in the movie. Even though Tunisian production is an Arabic production and it's very independent production, we still see the gazing and the, the looking from a female character to a male character or vice versa. We still see it as the Western world have defined, defined it as 
and a sexual desire we still see the gazing of the colonizer towards the colony as the western world have defined it we still see all of these pictures that the western world have defined for us we still see it in our own independent production will it come the day where we just break through this image and provide a new type of uh, gazing where we see male characters is appreciating female characters through gazing we will see will, will we see some sort of like male character looking at a female character and, and and through the gaze and we can tell the story where he tells her I have been putting barriers in front of you all of you are existing and I have been looking at you as an inferior and now it's time for me to appreciate you because you have proven yourself throughout time that you are equal to me and maybe better than me